All right. Oh, man, we've been talking for a long time. How can we finally run Python code? I want to start coding, right? Let's download this translation service, right? Well, um, I'm sorry. Actually, this is something we're going to do later on in the course. And I know what you're thinking. WTF, Andre. But what is this? Kindergarten? I mean, come on. I came here to learn Python. Start teaching me Python. And I know, I know. And don't worry, in this course, we're going to get you to have a professional setup with Python so that when you go into the workforce, you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. We're going to learn how to have all of these set up. First, we're going to have our terminal or command line where we can run Python from right in what we call a REPL. And then we're also going to use code editors like Sublime Text and Visual Studio Code. We're also going to use IDEs or integrated developer environments like PyCharm and Spider. And we're also going to use Jupyter Notebooks. And I'm going to show you how to set up all of these on your computer, what the pros and cons of using each are, and how some of them might be used for machine learning while others might be used for writing quick scripts. And I know this is a lot, but it's good to have these skills depending on what type of job you want. And if you're a professional Python developer, well, you should be using most of these. But there's a problem if I start introducing this in the course right away. You see, these tools, you have to install differently based on what computer you have. So if you're using a Mac, a Windows, a Linux, maybe you're using a mobile phone. Because we want to get started right away and write some code instead of worrying about installations and making sure that your computer is all set up, I want to make sure that all of us can get started right away, no matter what device you're on. Now, if you're really, really keen, head on over to the section where I show you how to install all these on all of your devices so that you have it set up and you can come back to this section. But I warn you, it's easy to run into problems and get confused when installing these tools. So I recommend sticking with what I'm about to show you. And I promise we will get you this professional setup. No other course is going to teach you all these things. But before I dive into these, we need to learn, well, we need to be able to just have fun and write some code. So what is this trick that I keep mentioning where we don't have to install any of these and still run Python? It's called REPL. You see, instead of us having to download this, we can go to REPL.IT. And when you go here, you'll get a login screen. Now, I recommend creating an account on here because trust me, it's going to be very, very useful. It's one of my favorite tools. And it allows you to save Python files just online. For example, once you log in and create an account, you can just create a new REPL, choose the language that you want to use. In our case, we want to choose Python. We can name our REPL. So we can just call it, hey, hey. And we can just create our REPL. And check it out. Right away, we have, without ever downloading this Python translation service, we can actually start writing Python right here in our browsers. And this is going to work for anybody that has an internet connection and a browser because this interpreter just runs automatically here. And the beauty with REPL is that, well, you can save these files, you can have different folders. So as we work through the course, you can actually have a folder for all your Python work and just have a really nice organized file structure that you can access anywhere you have internet connection. Now, if you don't want to sign up for REPL.IT, it's completely free. You can also use this open source glot.io, which again, you go to Python and you're able to run Python online. So take your time, sign up for REPL.IT and let's get started with our first Python program. I'm finally getting there. In the next video, we're going to write our first piece of code. No more waiting. It's coding time. So I'll see you in the next video.